Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a guest design team project to share with you today. This is a guest design team project for Artie Mays using one of her Christmas digital kits. And I had so much fun working with this and really getting in the Christmas spirit. This one I made for my Etsy shop, so you can check the link below if you're interested in it. So I used this glittered red paper for the cover, and this is probably the chunkiest sig single signature journal I've done. It is 80 pages, and there are, I believe, 20 pocket pages uh, with lots of sewing. So definitely chunky. And then I made this tassel that clips right off here. And there's a lot of really pretty. There's a, a silver bead, a Santa on a sled, and there's a little angel. And then really pretty trims and laces and things like that. So I used, I coffee dyed this doily and I used this card from the kit and then believe and I stitched it all around. Um, on here, there's just a simple black tie and we'll get right into it. So I put this giant bag here in the front so that you can put, you know, receipts or uh, lists or anything loose um, in there, and then there's pocket pages all throughout. So I love the papers she chose in this kit. They're so vintage, so classic, so, I mean, I found myself singing Christmas songs. So I stitched um, all of her pages onto copy-dyed paper and then turned it into these big pocket pages, and I put goodies um, inside different, you know, uh, tags and journaling cards and photo frames and things like that. So, um, this is a very special piece of music. This is from a 1945 music magazine. Um, and this is about Christmas Eve. The paper feels amazing. Um, really special, 1945. So here's another one. And I added this little frame. And then in here we have this tag that says no peeking. And I stitched on a bunch of buttons. And then there's also a um, journaling card that says things to do. And there's five. So we've got those in there. And then here's one of her little tags, and I just stitched them around and stuck it in there. And then I used some of the Tim Holtz um, stencils in a few places. And then there's a journaling card and a giant tag I made here with some journaling space on the back, as well as a journaling tag there, uh, too, in that pocket. Some snowflake washi, and then this is cut out from a Christmas card, this stocking. So I stitched here and made it a tuck spot for one of her journaling cards, and there's room to write on the back. And then I clipped on one of her little envelopes here. And um, in this pocket, we have this little calendar journaling card, and then I clipped on this little um, journaling card as well with some um, snowflake. This is from a book on Victorian embroidery that I thought went well. Some stenciling, just beautifulness. Um, here's a little journaling card that I just embellished a little bit. And then for this ledger paper, I sprayed with um, some coffee spray. One of the Tim Holtz stencils so you can read 25 Holidays, Jingle Bells, Merry Wish, Christmas, and all that down here. Really adds to uh, the vintage look. And then here's a journaling card here and... That's coffee dyed, and the back is. And then this is a 1950s children's uh, Christmas music, and I added this bling here and this little graphic 45 Santa tag. And then in this pocket, we have this little coffee dyed journaling tag and this little rustic looking tag with stenciling on the back. So lots of places to put things, lots of places to journal, more graphic 45. This is from a 1970s hymnal, and I did some stenciling on it. Um, there's a little gift tab, tag, I mean. This I found online. It's a 1980s Christmas, or early 1900s, um, 19, the 19 teens. So you can write on that. I just thought it was really cute with the children and Santa, and it fit the theme. Did some stamping. And then on here, um, there's a little bling. And I made this little tag here. I love, this is one of my favorite papers from the kit. I just love that. And so then there's a big journaling card in here that says jot it down. And there's a frame you could slip a picture into. I made this little pocket, and then this is one of her tags. I put on coffee dyed paper, edge punched that. Little wreath I made from a die cut. Well, I love this one too, one of her pages. And then in here there's this little Merry Christmas card 
And may your days be merry and bright and place to journal there on the back so those can slip in there. Of course, these can be taken out and used on gifts. Um, there's a little rustic flip up, flip down, and I did a little mini stencil right there. Here's from um, that vintage embroidery book. And so I did this as the center so you can appreciate that picture. And then in here, I made um, this kind of into a sort of a tabbed index card with some fabric and a gold bow. And I just added that in there. More of her beautiful, beautiful images. There's a little, this is actually from a little mini Christmas hymn book, uh, hymnal book or Christmas book I had. And this is an actual page from it with Santa. I had this growing up. Finally fell apart, so I'm using the pages. Here's a little tuck spot with the coffee dyed tag and placed her right on the back. Some stamping. This is um, parchment paper. More stamping and then some really pretty gingerbread um, stickers. This is the front of a Christmas card that I recycled. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the right word. Here we go. A whole bunch of little stars and sequins on that one. And then here's a giant journaling card tag I made. And slip that back in there. There we go. And then in here we have this, All I Want for Christmas. And I made this little tag with this little jingle bell on it. And there's place to journal on the back as well. And then this little um, tuck spot. You can just kind of slip those little cards in there. And then there's two identical tags in here. These would be great to remove and use on your gifts. Or, of course, you could put photos on them. They're a great heavyweight. They'd be made great um, photo mats. Here's a little flip up, and I did some stenciling on there. This is one of her little tuck spots, and I added a little mini journaling card. And then here's a happy holidays. I did some stitching on that. Get in there. Some snowflake stickers and I distressed and sprayed that. Another one of her tags I added an eyelet to. I found this paper um, scanned from an old 1800s children's Christmas book. I thought it was so pretty, so I added that in here as well. And then in here I made a little pocket. This is a happy day. There is a bingo journaling card and then some more just green paper journaling um, as well in there. A little bit of stenciling in these little stickers. More stenciling, date, place, and notes. And then in here, it says Merry Christmas from. And then more, this is that 1936, but it was in a 1945 magazine. Another one of her tuck spots with this tag that says Good Tidings. And then in here, I made this pocket tag. It's This is embossed here. It says Wonderful. There's a little mini journaling card there. Lots of removable pieces. So I hope that you really enjoy this. This was my favorite Christmas one to make so far this year. I love the way it feels. It's chunky, but it's not unmanageable. It's, um, I don't know, to me it's just full of growing up Christmas memories. That's just kind of what it reminds me of. It would be wonderful for a December daily or a memory book or just uh, keeping lists and receipts and ideas for Christmas uh, cards and things like that. It would also make an amazing uh, gift for someone. So I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making it. Please check out um, the Artie Mays link below as well so you can check out her beautiful Christmas kits as well.